Some of you mother-in-laws, y'all need to learn to let go of your son. When they get married, when they've chosen their wife, and settle down. Okay? If y'all didn't know, when your son chooses his wife, he has chosen his new mother. You are the biological mother, yes. And when he runs to you, open your arms. But as long as he's still running to his wife, don't open your arms. Just sit back and wait until he needs you to be his mother again. You know, to help with whatever he needs you for. Eh? Y'all don't know that when that man pick his woman, he's picking a new mother? Huh? Didn't you notice that when that man uh, approached that woman who is his wife now, didn't you take notice that she started doing things that you've been doing for your son for years from the day you born him? She started doing the same thing, washing his clothes, cooking for him, cleaning for him, helping him with everything he needs. It's not you. It's not. It's not you alone that 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 gifted it to your son. The wife, your son is not sucking your titty anymore. He's sucking his wife's titty. You see what I mean? That's why I say his wife is his new mother. He won't come and suck your titty anymore. He will suck his wife's titty. See what I'm saying? That that's what makes his wife his his new mother. So don't try to just invade his relationship all the time, telling him what to do, when to do, and how to do it. He has a wife, a woman, a woman who will also think like a mother. You know, what I say that's the, the every woman comes with that natural, natural gift of nurturing. So she will take care of your son. The only way you should get vest, get mad, get blue and start your wahala. If the woman is not right for your son, if she's torturing your son, she's wild, she's crazy, she's not responsible. And then, yeah, you have a reason. But some of y'all, y'all just all day you act like to say your son brought his wife to come and live in your home he didn't do that oh they have their own place and you still want to run their life if you want to do it why don't you just pay their mortgage or their rent pay their car insurance add them to your medical insurance buy their food buy their clothing pay for vacations romantic trips buy their children clothes but you sitting down over there when it's time for you to watch your grandkids you still ask for child care money but then you can't leave them alone what happened now what happened? if something were to happen to your son and, and and he's in the hospital don't you know that that a wife they will call first for the wife to make a decision you see you see Leave the man as woman alone so they can live their life. Let them think. Let them think and organize their life and plan their life. So no chaos. You causing too much chaos in their life. Too much noise. Let the two people pull it. Two minds. It's better than one. That they, they, they so, okay. Before he got his wife, he was working with one mind. So he needed you as the mother. But now he finished picking his wife. Two, two minds are working here. They don't need a third one. The third one making too much noise. If he needs you, he'll come to you. If the wife needs mom, your the mother-in-law help you, you, you. She'll come. You are not her. You're not her mother. So you know you just you just making too much commotion. Leave it alone. If something were to happen to your son, that wife will be the one taking another job to be able to pay the bills. And when she's doing that, where are you? Where are you? Are you helping to pay the bills? You're not there. Eh. She gets pregnant with your son, with your grandchild. She's going through all these hormonal changes. She goes through labor, pee, everything, have your beautiful grandbaby. And you act like to say she's not grown enough to run her own relationship. You're just in her son ear. You need to zip it small and sit back and sit back. Let the man, let the man be a man, okay? He's not in a diaper anymore. He don't need to suck your daughter anymore. You know, he don't need to, he don't need you to hold his hand anymore and tell him what to do. Okay, he has a new mother. So just leave him alone, okay? Leave him alone. Let him be a man. Jeez.